Hi, I'm Pete Sadler, and today I'm proud to announce the new version of Heritage D 119 firmware upgrade. Version 119 sees the unlocking of two powerful new features, Ultima Dynamic EQ and Ocean EQ, along with several customer requests and bug fixes. As all audio professionals know, filtering is an important part of the workflow. However, it comes with a downside. Heavy filtering plays havoc with your audio face coherence. And as many people will be aware that we at Midas Console take this very, very seriously, which is why nothing sounds like a Midas. Our delay compensation was originally introduced with the XL8 and continued through the Pro Series and obviously HD. This means your audio can remain phase coherent and unaffected throughout the processing chain. But unfortunately, even Midas must obey the laws of physics and you can't stop phase shifting through traditional filtering. Until now, we introduce you to Ocean EQ. Ocean is a raised cosine EQ allowing complex spectral alterations with minimal phase shift. Many people will be familiar with this technique as it's the same style of EQ used in Lake's LM44 and LabGruppen's PLM amplifiers. You can have up to 24 Ocean EQs using the existing effect slots. Each Ocean can have up to 24 bands and the capability to generate an asymmetric filter shape, meaning you can have a different slope on the rising and the falling edge. Our second major addition is a big one. Many people love Dynamic EQ and we've had many requests over the years to have more Dynamic EQ capabilities. From 119 onwards, we're happy to provide you with the addition of 128 stereo Dynamic EQs with mid-side processing capabilities. That's an additional 256 channels of Dynamic EQ. This new pool of Dynamics processing doesn't take up any effect slots. In fact, there's no DSP trade-off whatsoever, which means they're there all the time, regardless of any other processing you may have. Adding a new Ultima Dynamic EQ is easy. Select the channel, navigate to the Insert section, select the new Dynamics pool, choose your desired slot, and the effect will open automatically. It's as simple as that. On top of these two incredible features, we've introduced a new go to scene option, a quick way to select a range of things in the show editor, and a pool of common names so you can quickly name your channels. Thanks for joining us on this quick tour of our version 119 firmware. It'll be available this Wednesday, the 30th of March. Watch out for the automatic notification on your console, and the full release notes are available in the update manager. We look forward to delivering more of your requests soon.